Edgar Wright. So, you, got, you guys are hardcore. <laughs> uh, I love the music too. We didn't even talk about that. You put a lot of thought into the music for your films, obviously. Yeah, um, a lot of them are written into the script, or we, you know, like um, Queen. The, the "Don't Stop Me Now" Queen song was was there right from the start. In terms of, um, I always thought it was like a um, the happiest song to happen in, in a in a terrible situation. <laughs> Ridiculously upbeat. And also the Queen, has anybody ever seen the Queen musical, We Will Rock You? Yeah. Not good. <laughs> and the worst thing about it is they don't use Don't Stop Me Now, which to me is like the obvious show tune of Queen's entire back catalogue. So that was one of the reasons we put it in the movie, is because I thought that um, Don't Stop Me Now needed saving. And the reason You're My Best Friend is on at the end is because on Queen's Greatest Hits, You're My Best Friend comes immediately after Don't Stop Me Now. So when me and Simon would listen to that song a lot, this would always be coming up. So then this intro was just like in our brain and the first lyric was, Oh you make me live and I was thinking, Oh that should be the end credit song. <laughs> yeah. It all makes sense. Yeah. You know, earlier when we had the first half of the zombie summit, uh, I asked uh, um, Zach and Robert, I forgot their names, it's been so long. Um, I asked Zach and Robert about uh, fast zombies versus slow zombies. I don't think I asked you about that specifically. Do you have uh, uh, particular opinion or strident opinion? Well, since Rob Kirkman is gone, and uh, since Zach is gone, I'm I'm firmly a slow zombies man. In the original recipe, um, yeah, I I'll say that much. I'm a slow zombies man. If Simon were here, he would be a lot more vocal about it. Yes, I fucking would. <laughs> Yes. I got here like five minutes after it started. I tried to, I was filming somewhere and then I, uh, but here I am. Well, welcome. Thank you. And uh, congratulations on rapping Star Trek. Uh, I, yes, I did do it. I do, I do a rap in Star Trek. Uh, it's Scotty rap. It's a very it's a good moment. Uh, no, yeah, we wrapped it last week and it's going to be awesome. Yeah. You know, um, asking about Yeah, and... How would you, you, you mentioned something that Max Brooks had said about uh... Yeah, I was having this conversation with Max Brooks, who uh, was saying that they've made the zombies in World War Z fast, which wasn't, he wasn't entirely, you know, w w along with. But um, he said, we were talking about it and how much we love slow zombies, and he said it's the difference between a bullet and a tumour. And a tumour is far more scary and sinister than a bullet. In you know, that's, that's, I think, key to the slow zombie. That's what's made them so... Beloved is this weird, eerie ineptness that they have, which is kind of, it makes them sad, it makes them tragic, it makes you feel sorry for them, you know? In Romero's films, you root for them sometimes, whereas when they're just squealing and running at you, it's just, oh, fuck you, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we like, yeah, no, we like the slow zombies because they're like lava. They're just kind of like coming at a slow pace, but there's a lot of them. And the fast zombies, we, call, we call them red ball zombies. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Simon, for you, when you look back on this film, uh, obviously a great success and, and opened a lot of doors for you. Um, <laughs> what's a, what, what sort of your takeaway memory when you look back on this? And Sean, what uh, we just, Edgar and me, we did a scene in our sitcom Spaced when I was fighting zombies and um, I decided to do... <laughs> thanks. Uh, <laughs> I decided to, so late, even in America they're not... You know, spaced! <laughs> I don't like to assume. Sometimes on chat shows, people will say, I did a little show called Space. And they wait for it, but you never know if it's going to come. Um, and, and, and we just said, we should make a film. We should do a film like that. And, and, and it, it kind of just grew from there. And then suddenly we were on set, and me and Nick were taking pictures.